Hello lovelies, I am the Frognostic and up for execution on tonight's Let's Slay is the catchily titled Bleeding Border, which sounds like an old man losing his patience with the gardening, but is actually a first person 3D survival horror game in which the player must escape through the top of a monster infested building using his own blood as the only defense mechanism. Now that sounds fucking original. The only thing I can think of right off the bat that even closely resembles that is when Edwin DeWeese fought Gideon Ray on the Ultimate Fighter and won the match by basically rupturing his own forehead, pinning Ray to the mat and just basically trying to waterboard the poor bastard with the blood pouring, and I mean fucking pouring, out of what looked like the middle of a rogue vagina plasters rampage. It was less a fight than it was a direct mockery of the Red Cross Christmas appeal. It was man versus food for Count fucking Dracula. It took my fucking hand, boys! And then I bled on it, and it died, which, uh, sure is something of an evolutionary dead end for a monster that eats people. I am ready to bleed on things. Please don't disappoint me, bleeding border. Please. Okay, don't worry about that for a minute. First load, and then don't disappoint me. Bleeding borders, you're not listening. Is this? Well, there you go. Floor one completes. What fiendish hiding place will the exit be concealed in when we reach second floor? Prepare yourselves, lovelies. It might not be two feet away from us. All right, we're gonna play this every floor, are we? What a treat. No, wait, don't go. Let me see it again. I'm only mildly sick of it already. Here we go. Woo! Back that ass up. That's what we want. See if we can stem the tide here. Ah, good as new. But uh, better call the doctors just in case. What's this? The Supreme Kaiser of the High Alliance has given me the task of guiding and supervising 11 members of the colony. Sid, Nimbus, Tank, Sawyer, Gambit, Redface, Alphonse, Sai, Homi, Mark, and Giovanni. Oh, Romy, sorry, Remy? Yeah, Remy. About to be exiles while serving their sentences abroad on a mission of utmost importance. The case of success, they will be allowed back to live among decent members of society in the protection and comfort of the buildings of the High Alliance, and I will be promoted to Brigadier General, Director of the Apostle Williams. According to the Decree 16C893F, 
I'm required to take a daily log of activities and important events in order to assess whether or not his behavior was at all times that of a citizen of the High Alliance. So, this is either a publisher's rejection letter in the making, or we're in some near future dystopian jibber jabbery. Nothing else here. Yeah, I'm glad we're playing someone with the tenacity to get to the bottom of this mystery. It'd do the groundwork, read the scattered memos, even as her severed arm turns the surrounding area into Ted Bundy's slip and slide, ages four and up. God damn it, I've been here before. I'm lost already. Well, let's state the obvious, shall we? This looks like shit, feels like shit. The only thing frustrating the complete shitty rainbow is the sound of which there is none. What do we got here? Soldier. Dressed for a day at the beach. Or playing bass in an awful pop punk band. It's nice to know the military relaxed their dress code in the near future. And their totalitarian policy on soldiers requiring stomachs. It's 2031 guys, come on. Once we were inside the building, the soldiers sealed the doors from the outside, protecting us from possible enemy attacks and allowing the colonials to focus on our mission, knowing that the only way out was the cable car and the roof. Right. And the other one. We found the keys to the building in the body of one of the perimeter guards he seems to have killed himself. He had entrenched himself in the concierge's office, closing the door, but we managed to get the door open with a few shots from the Remington of Sawyer. It is the only body we found by the moment. In the body? Good lord. Don't those shorts have pockets? Give me the gun. Give it to me. The gun. Give it to me. I can't take the fucking gun, it's not happening. So let's get out here and finish another fucking level. There's uh, there's no real sense of urgency to this. I don't feel like there's any great race against time to stop the traumatic blood loss happening here. Just sort of ambling along like, hey, I already lost my arm. What the fuck else can happen to me? Go on, use a stump to push it open, just once. Bah! It's almost like they're just playing the same redundant video before each level. Third floor, the saga continues. Well, can I just walk out of here? Just opt out of this? Ah, no, Trixie. You need the key. Ah, touche, bleeding border. You have twisted this tail even tighter, have you not? We tried to repair the elevator, but the cables were too damaged. When Mark and Giovanni went to try and start the engine, the elevator collapsed and sent their bodies to the third floor. Tank thinks he can use the engine parts to repair the cable car. Hopefully he is right. Well, that plan looked like it worked out well for everyone. Here we are, this will fix the lift. And my arm, and my divorce. It's a wonder tool. And it's yours for just 89 monthly payments of what? Oh, you're just going to jam that thing in your stump, aren't you? Sweet cycling Christ, that's disgusting. Would it not have been a better proposition to maybe just try firing the gun? Just give it a go? Rather than jamming a fucking screwdriver in our severed arteries. We found that... Hang on, we already read this note, goddammit. Write new notes. Don't get cheap on me, Dodgson. That was Hammond's mistake. A man with no arms and the key to the exit. It's like rain on your wedding day. Come on, let's go and find some more things to poke our disgusting wound with. How about a severed head? He could be our wacky sidekick. Wow, at the head, how am I going to fix this lift with just one hand? I don't know, lady. I'm just as stumped as you are. <laughs> By the pilot. Come on in, fucker. Got just the treat for you. 
a screwdriver. Ah, 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 you petty for- Ah, ah, she sprayed her own filthy stump juice down my throat! Oh god, it's in my mouth! Ah, 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 ah. Who's next? Who wants the stump? Dun 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 These floors all look the damn same. Which, you know, I guess makes sense in the context of it being an office block. But the path of debris is practically identical on every floor as well. The only thing that really differs is whether there's a mountain of shit blocking the exit. I wonder how long this goes on for. I mean, really, you could just copy and paste these levels forever, couldn't you? This fucking cutscene. Back in the non-monster days, these doors must have been terrible for morale. Alright, what do we got? Same again. Why mess with... Success? No, that can't be it. Have some Hepatitis B, you squid-faced barbarity. No? Right, let's see what else I've got. How about malaria? Fucking hell. What's Nile virus? That'll do, pig. That's oh, there's another one. Fuck it, oh, I've only got so much blood. There you go. Doesn't even look like it kills them. They just fall over drunk. Once you get over the gimmick that is the entertaining gruesomeness of jamming a lump of metal into your missing forearm like you're trying to fix a tap, it's really just an incredibly slow and annoying attack that's practically impossible to hit anything with without getting hit yourself. Floor number six, what treats await? On the fourth floor there was one monster, on the fifth there were two. It's almost like there's some kind of pattern building here. But what, what, what could it be? Oh well, there you go. Filthy waste higher water. So you get a nice dose of typhoid to go along with whatever gangrenous horror is currently desecrating this stump. At least it's different. I'd tell you, Bleeding Border is not a title to rest on its laurels. Spring break, spring break! I'm alright guy, let's get fucking crazy! Chug, 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 chug! Oh, shit's crazy! Shit's crazy! Wet and limbless. There's a Google search waiting to go wrong. Whoa, fuck me and my life. And we're back. Stay away from that desk. That's the cursed one. Ah, what bacterial wonderland will we find on floor seven? Dead animal petting zoo? Expired dairy jacuzzi? Oh, hello. We done already. Uh, oh no, we're back. Am I about to get rushed here, or was that just an entirely pointless interlude? Bah, 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 boss fight? No? No, oh, there they are. Not exactly rushing, but fuck it all, we'll take what we can get. Let's see if we can trick shot these bastards and get two with one spray. Here we go. Yes! 50% off, mate! Two birds, one gush! Again, probably not one to just haphazardly bang into a search engine there. The water actually gets deeper the further you climb up the building, which is a uh, novel approach to physics. Especially when the door that they're so keen on showing me between levels is peppered with fucking holes. No walls to worry about here. Or enemies. There's the key. Off to the exit. Fuck me. Lost interest now, aren't they? They truly don't care anymore. That might have been an enemy there, spazzing into existence. But why bother stopping to find out? I'm only really still playing this because... Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm getting a refund after this, so I'm definitely not trying to get my money's worth. The terror continues. 
Do you know, I've never struggled to commentate a game more. It's given me nothing. All right, let's see if... Oh, no, don't fall off the platforms or they'll fucking eat you. Save the best for last, there. Yeah. Can't even see where I'm supposed to be bloody walking. What about if I poison the water a bit? There you go, fuckface. Dinner time. Oh shit! Challenger enters the arena! Egad! I am bitten! The retort and the victory. A climax fitting of Olympus itself. I will tend my wounds and ascend to my- what? Ah, you fuck off! You fuck off now, in that direction. Keep fucking steady. Ste- Shit beagles! Yeah, you bite me, I spray you, you die. A dance as old as time itself. Uh, whenever I heal, it doesn't actually- I just sort of contemplate my stump for a while. Is that it? We on the roof yet? Oh god, kill me now. I can see it! I can see the exit! This has got to be the end, isn't it? They can't keep this up for much longer. Well, hey! Go on now, one more. Guzzle my gash! <laughs> Guzzling gash goo, Batman! Holy haemophilia! There. Now. End. What a waste of fucking time. Nice setup for a sequel there though. That's a day one for me. How about next time, she loses everything except her torso, and the game is just you spinning around on the floor like one of those fucking crazy daisies, spraying everything within 10 feet of you with a never ending jet of blood. You can have that one, curse box. Don't need paying. <laughs>